ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to round two of the OIDC 2024 season. it down maybe just ending up a small bit on the inside of the track very unfortunate as we see the mirror now bringing it around the last corner and over the finish line so the mirror leaves the line for GTA 6 obviously the damage could be to use this lap for a little bit of uh, research development is what we call it. You get to feel out the grip levels. They say the grip levels are consistently changed run by run as the temperature starts to drop here in the afternoon here in Muscat Oman. still in GTA 6. And yes, this car did go up last week and went to Dubai, got rebuilt. Back down here seven days later. So fair play to his team. On the grid. Obviously not happy with how this would have ended. Top 32, but I'm sure they will take a win and win. But the mirror now has a mountain to climb because he is going to go against James Dean. Top 16. Then it's my apology. I think our graphics is confusing me here, which is which. His day, Corvette must have sustained some sort of damage that could not repair. But here we go. Has a versus Bullseye, has a thrown in wide. But look at Bullseye! Oh no! Huge impact with that wall. As we see, has a foot to the floor. Maybe Bullseye just getting caught out a small bit by the pace of that S14. Has his. We see has it now. That V8 screams. It's coming back around, locking from the break around the last corner, smoking. Just that autodrome out of it. We see the cars coming down, flicking in nicely. Lovely initiation from Bullseye. This is more than we've seen in the car. We catch it as long as we catch it as which after the first run, so he just has to stick there. This needs to be too close. Just follow him around the track, and he should secure the win. This is brilliant for both of you. Really love to see someone have a big impact on the ball and they come back out and uh, get over that fear, you know, of just making sure that it's not there. So see Bullseye now with a lovely lead run. And Bullseye gets the win. Traffic light goes green and away they go. Charber lead Hussein Mislami to chase. So we see Charber coming down.
now no big flip. Shish from both guys. You're saying it's right there with him going, not letting Turbin get away. You see Turbin on beautiful line as he comes through, bringing the front bumper right into that concrete wall. And, oh, Hussein just getting a small bit lost in Turbin Smoke. Has to back out to avoid compact. Now he's putting the foot down, trying to reel Turbin in, but Turbin's driving away with this one. As we see him filling that outer zone, smoking the track over. Light like goes green, away they go. Both guys coming down. Lovely initiation. He's right there with him, not letting Hussein get too far away. One wheel over the line there, but Charba took it right in his side here as they come through the inner clip. Massive transition, and oh, Hussein! Unfortunately, just getting it all wrong. The car washed a small bit too much there. Off. See Charba now, knowing he would have a big advantage coming into the last corner. Sticking back, waiting for his moment, and diving right up on his door. The winner is Benedictus Charba. I'm sure a lot of you guys at home will be rewinding back to see what the judges see, but here we go. We have Nazar our Harvali versus Fala, and Nazar throwing him, but Fala making a huge dive on the inside. Does well not to make contact. Nazar on a beautiful lead line as he puts the front of that S for 180SX right up on the wall, transitioning back. Lovely by line, but look at Fala. He is stuck there with Nazar falling him in as the transition now back to the wall. Coming through now in the last corner, fitting the last hour zone. Nazar puts the foot down, fire cut the track just ever so slightly to try and stay with him. Nazar is a beast in the chase. So, what can Fahad do in the lead here now? Will he be able to gap it? Only time will tell. As we see both guys coming down, wide flick in from Fahad. He ends up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. He ends up on the inside of the track, washing wide, brings Nazar with him. And this is a scrappy lead run. Nazar as the chase car, all he can do is follow the lead that he is given by now as they transition for the first time, trying to do anything to get back on that qualifying line. Nazar now starts to reel him in as the transition for the last time, bringing him around the last outer zone, up on the door that PS13 and over the finish line. As much proximity as possible. So. Ali Abushi to lead, Clint Van Oot to chase, Oman versus the Netherlands, here we go, look at this, Ali throwing it in, but Clint is right there with him, he knows not who's fast, so he's obviously gripped that car up so much, now look at this, the Dutchman, right there with him, as they push through that first inside clip, flicking back now, transitioning out wide, beautiful lead line from Lalu, but Clint Van Oot is right there with him, Pushing him around, coming up, transitioning for the wall. Both guys getting deep, small bit of contact. Oh, more contact. What happened there? Both guys leave the line. Clint to lead, Lalu to chase. Clint is coming down like a man possessed. Doing absolutely can. Lalu's car not performing the way he was. Ended up completely on the inside of the track. As we see Clint now putting foot to floor. Trying to lose Lalu in the smoke. And it looks like he does as a huge separation comes out. Clint on nearly a perfect line now as he comes through outer zone two. Getting ready for the last transition. Sticks the back of that S14 right on the wall. Exactly what we're used to seeing from the Dutchman. Lalu now just doing whatever he can to claw back in, maybe cutting a bit of the track to try and gain back some proximity. And the winner is Clint Van Oot. Personally, I think it must have been a great decision because he's like a man possessed. But look, here we go. Ria to leave, Salah to chase. As they come down, screaming down the straight, throwing it in. Salam right there on the door, but lovely lead line from Ria. As we see Salam now, not as much angle, but he's right there with him, tucking that S15 right into the door of that Toyota Super. Huge transition through the smoke. This is absolutely unbelievable from both guys as they come. Screaming through the center section of the track, transitioning for the last time. Salam is right there with Ria, not letting him get anywhere. Ria watching a small bit wide through that last outer zone and they bring it over the line. It's unbelievable. We have 
Chase, what's Rio got to do? He knows there's a good. Oh, Salah with a little bit early on the trot brings it inside the track to start that zone. Rio has to back off to avoid contact. Now we see the Supra dialing them in as they're coming through that inside clip right on the wall. Flicking back a small bit of separation, not as close as the last one. Salah showing that he has ridiculous pace in that S15. And what can Rio do is the transition for the last time. Oh, a bit of a stall up there for Salah as we see him now. Len get back into the fight and bringing it over the line and it's a one more time i nearly called that earlier the light is set it goes green and away they go it's the one more time riyad and salam what way are they going to approach it riyad throwing it in but sam's right there with about contact contact at the first corner Judges gave him a competition timeout advantage his way here they go second half of this one more time See Salam throwing it in there, Riyad ends up well too much on the inside, very unfortunate there. Salam doing anything he can now to try and save his top 16 dreams as they come through the inside clip. Look at this for Riyad, now cuts the track, trying to make a dive, pushing wide, not as wide as we'd like to see. But Salam is putting foot to floor, flicking back, putting the S15 right on that wall. That was a lovely transition for Salam. Riyad right there with him coming around the last corner and over the line. But your winner is Salam Al Sahar. And he here. Oh, Car screaming for to leave the line. Ali in the lead. Mohammed in the chase as they come down now. Look at this. Ali can see. Lovely, but Mohammed is right there with him. You see Ali going wide. Whoa, dropping wheels. Mohammed has to bail out. Not sure what happened there. You see him coming through. Inside clip, Ali Maxine, a very uncharacteristic Ali Maxine. Oh, and Mohammed shuts down. This is a scrappy run from both drivers. We're only halfway around the first half of this run. As we see them now flicking back. Oh, Mohammed has to dial off angle to avoid contact with the ball. Maxine just smoke it on. It looks like there's something wrong with Mohammed's car there. Traffic light goes green. Away they go. Mohammed to lead. Ali to chase. Throwing it in, Mohammed going wide, Ali doing a good job there, but just starts out ever so slightly, he's going to try and fight contact and see Mohammed now going very wide from there, barely getting a wheel in that inside clip, he's pulling huge ground on Axid, Axid there now, able to get back in, Ali drops, or my pick Mohammed drops the wheel and Ali making a crazy dive, GTA 6 right up on top of that BMW. is Ali Maxfeed. On fire this morning, in fact. Some of the runs he was doing was unbelievable, so I'm expecting big things from him here. As we see both drivers throwing it in with huge commitment to have on the lovely lead line. But look at Ehab. Ehab is right there with him as they come through the inside clip. How did the ham not hit that wall? Ehab just getting it off in the smoke and getting it all wrong on the transition. As we see Daham putting foot to the floor, throwing the back of that S14 out to the wall and bringing it around the last corner. Wow. All I will say is Daham is fast. Okay, so here we go. We have Ehab to lead, we have Ahmed Daham to chase. We see both cars thrown in, Ehab doing whatever he can to try and put a bit of a gap on Ahmed the Ham. <laughs> Look at the Ham, he is right there with him. Tagging onto the back of that BMW as they transition for the first time. Coming around the corner, bringing it out. This is a big flick back for the wall. Lovely drive from both guys and Ehab locking it up. Severely causing the Ham to stop. It's going to be very interesting to see what way our judges are going to look at this one. And your winner is Ahmed Daham. Oh. We're about to find out as we see both guys leave the line. Looking like Samir has got the clutch issue fixed in that car. Chris Brady coming down, throwing that skyline in fairly hard. Watch him wait. Massive contact on initiation. Samir Sabah. 
hitting Chris Brady, putting him into a spin. Brady very lucky not to go into the wall. Chris Brady at fault. What, another competitive's door taped onto your car to get the run done. That is drifting at its finest. But here we go, advantage Samir. Is that car working right? He's, no, no, he's in the wall again. What, Chris Brady avoids him, does a great job and keeps it going. I would not want to be a judge in that one. Maybe the mechanical damage not working out. Listen to the RB scream of Chris Brady as he finishes off this lap. That is a very, very awkward scenario for our judges as we see Chris Brady now coming out to the last corner over them. The minute Samir came out with a chicane, it looked to me. It's a one more time. Oh. Samir Sava is not making it to the line, it seems, because Chris Brady's got a thumbs up and away he goes, which would mean Chris Brady will advance to the top 16 in that RB25, R32 skyline. As you see, much faster initiation from Chris this time. Maybe he's talking with his, uh, his pit buddy, James Dean, going, Jim, what would you do in this scenario? Or what way? You know, it's always good to have a guy like that over here with you. Uh, we see that absolutely fantastic cable job. Chris Brady's out there in front of the car. I wonder who did that. So we see him now coming around the back. He's coming out to the wall. It's not a bad run from Chris Brady. If he's qualified, it'll be a nice high scoring run as he brings it over the line. Our Andreas is to lead Linus to chase. Listen to the screams. Andreas having wastegate issues all day long. Linus coming the last night. This car is finally working the way it should be. As we see a little twitch there, woman through zone one. Look at this from Andreas. Great jangle, big clutch kick. Keep that car moving. You see, line is turning on the headlights halfway around the run. That is unbelievable. I don't really even have time to think about that. As we see Andreas now flicking back for the wall, doing whatever he can. Get right up there on the door. That tight oh the super and he does a fantastic job avoiding up so, two cars on the line, Linus to lead, Andreas to chase, Sweden versus Sweden. Here they go as they're coming out of the straight, throwing it in. Oh Andreas just going way too wide, taking the back of that super off the barriers again. I said it earlier on today when someone hit the wall, it would not be the last, and they definitely are not the last. As we see. The line is now putting foot to the floor, finishing off this one. Very unfortunate for Andreas. Just getting in a small bit wrong in the chase position. Or fighting for, but yeah, as I said earlier. It goes green and away they go. Ahmed Lambry to lead, Robert to chase. Ahmed throwing it in, nice and wide. Probably got the good and just stand them back a small bit, cut the track to try and get up on top of the Lamry. See what he can do as they come through that first corner, putting foot to floor. Up the Lamry a lovely lead line. But Robert McCoolian is right there with him, sticking that 350 right up on the door. What a dive and on. Oh, no. Maybe just too aggressive for the dive. The car gripped up and shot him off. Out of sight. Straight throwing it in very fast. And just sitting back nicely. Let him recover. Get that 357. As they come through the inside clip now. Ready to flip back one more time. Nice. Lamry now not really in the fight, but he knows he will have the 10-0 exact advantage here. And your winner is Ahmed Alamri. He loves Limiter. That's the best way I'll describe it. So here we go, hiding the lead. You had a chase. Thrown it in nice and wide. I did a good job. You see you ran out, fought him back. Everything was like you can and trying to try and stay up close with Hyden Alaidi as they transition back. Lovely job from both drivers. Hyden on a beautiful lead line. You are right there with him.
mirror now as they come through the centre section. Massive dive from Yuha Rintanen. What can hide him do as Yuha is pushing him around that last corner as they bring it over the line. And the traffic light goes green and away they go. What can Yuha do in the lead? What can hide him do in the chase? Well, we're about to find out as both guys throw in. Look at Yuha Rintanen on a perfect line. Hide him ended up on the inside of the track. Has to drag the handbrake to avoid contact and a straight from Hype Maladidi. But this is a beautiful line from Yuha Rintanen as we see Yuha now putting foot to floor. Not sure what's going on. A lot of smoke out of the back of Hyden's car. And I don't think it's tyre smoke. Maybe some mechanical issues coming into play. As I say, that is very uncharacteristic from Hyden Al Hydidi. There can only be one winner, and that winner is Yuha Rintanen. Productive night tonight, but unfortunately one of them is going out in the top 32. Look at this from Eggers, but Sebastian Fronten is right there with him. Eggers on a lovely wide line now, but look at the Dutch driver as he throws that E36 right up on Krogas' door as they flick back for the first time out to our zone. This is a crazy run from both drivers. The screams of Eggers' cars are coming through. Look at the dive from Fonten for the last time. He knows he's going to have to push hard to try and gain up as much points as possible in that chase position. And Sebastian the lead, Eggers the chase. As they come down, throwing it in nice and wide. Lovely line from Sebastian Fonten. Eggers there now trying to stay with him. He's doing a very good job. Putting it right on the door of Sebastian Fonten as they come and transition for the last time. And he didn't think, oh, but look at Edgar Corbis. He is right there with him. Stuck to the door as they transition for the last time. Coming into the last corner, Sebastian Fonten shuts it down. What? What happened there? A drive shaft or a diff or something, and the winner is Edgar Corbis. But never mind them. Nicknack, Victor. Nicknack the lead, Victor the chase. Throwing it in. Look at this from Nicknack. Lovely initiation. Oh, Victor nearly going backwards into the barrier. Does a good job to hold it. Messing up his line, but look at Nicknack. Nearly pinpoint accuracy as he comes through that intersection. Transition now. Nicknack's on a beautiful right line. Victor is cutting the track to get back in there, which he gains the proximity, but not the way we wanted it. We see Nick Knack now, more like the Nick Knack we're used to seeing, doing an absolute unbelievable job in traffic light goes green and away they go. Victor to lead, Nick Knack to chase, Victor throwing in, lovely indeed, is he able to hold it? Yes he is, but look at Nick Knack right there with him, he's that close, he might be going for a passenger spin with Victor, but Victor's on a lovely lead line now as they come through. The inside clip transitioning wide, absolute brilliant driving from both guys. Victor giving Nicknack every opportunity for the perfect chase. But look at the dive from Nicknack on the slash transition coming into the final corner, bringing it around over the line. Look at Nicknack! Wow! Oh, with Ali Al Shahani on the line. His usual role in burnout. So here we go, the first battle of our top 16. It is James Dean versus Demir. James throwing it in, but look at Demir. He is right there with him. Stuck on the door, that is 14.9. As we see James putting foot to floor, absolutely. Smoking them rear tires off as he transitions back now. Doing whatever he can to try and shake off Demir, but Demir is right there with him. He knows James Dean's consistent. He knows he's fast. He knows he can trust his 
line and it seems to be working in Demir's favour. James Dean doing a near perfect lead line, but look at Demir's chase. But here we go. Second half of this top 16 battle is Demir to lead, James to chase. They're coming down, Demir throws it in, but look at James Dean, he's right there with him. Demir now on a lovely wide line, but James Dean is stuck to his door as they come through the first zone lining up for the inside clip on the wall. Massive dive through the smoke from Demir and James Dean as they push through outer zone two. Look at James, he's right there with him. Huge transition from both guys. How did not hit the wall as they come around? The last corner for the final time over the finish line. Come on. And James Dean gets the win. Here we go. Benedictus Cherba to lead. Bullseye to chase. Tearing down the straight. Cherba flicking it in. Huge angle from Cherba. Oh, he hits the barriers. What? Uncharacteristic from Cherba. By going in them barriers, he definitely had wheels off. Now he keeps it going. Bullseye is probably like, what is going on? Can I not just get a clear run into this corner? As we see Cherba now putting foot to floor, absolutely bashing the limiter to whatever he can to try and salvage as much points on this run. Bullseye is nearly a spectator at this stage. He's that far back. Green lights and away they go. Bullseye to lead. Cherba to chase. As they're coming down now, huge speed from Bullseye as he throws it in. Cherba's right there with him. Look at this. Both guys filling that outer zone perfectly. As they come up now for the inside clip on the wall. Charbers right there with him. Huge dive from both guys. As the flick back bullseye is not as deep into the clip. Charbers just giving him a small little bit of a nudge. Trying to go, come on, I get going. As we see bullseye now transitioning a small bit too early. Doing a good job though to keep that car sideways as he pushes around the last corner. But look at Charba. Benedictus Charba. Who will stand tall at the end of this battle? Well, we're about to find out. Listen to the screams of Nazar's car, but Clint is right there with him as he flicks it in. Oh, huge contact! Clint's door even comes open. What? That was absolutely insane. But is that a beautiful vision? As long as it drives, it's all that matters. Clint will lead Nazar to chase. Clint throws it in now. Nazar's right there with him. Oh, and Clint spins. Oh, it's a big contact. You can't even the smoke. I think we're all safe. What? Oh, graphics on. It's a one more time. Okay, here we go. It's our hard battle. Big man up to chase.
what's going to happen when both cars leave the line. The ham to lead Brady to chase, the ham throwing it in nice and deep with Brady right there with him, foot to foot the floor. Can he stay with that monstrous S14 of Apple the ham? The Army 25 screaming at Chris Brady as both guys come through the tight wall. Chris Brady making a huge line now trying to get that car up at the ham's door. The ham carrying a massive angle around that bottom corner as the transition for the last time. Proximity set in and the ham is just leaving. Traffic light goes green, Chris Brady the lead, Ahmed Aham the chase. Both guys coming down the straight tear and then Chris Brady throws it in nice and deep, looking away the white line, putting the foot down. Ahmed Aham right there with the door as he keeps knocking on the door of Chris Brady as they come through that inner clip. Daham getting lost in Brady's smoke, not sure what happened there. It was just as our camera flipped as we see Daham then cross the track that small bit just to get the proximity back. On Chris Brady's door as they flick, Brady put the back of that skyline right on the wall, foot to floor, hugging that outer line, coming across the finish line, the hands right with him. Who will be the winner? It's a one more time! Creeping up off the start line, trying to get every bit of advantage to stick with the ham. The ball boys throw it in now. The hands just the floor, and look at Chris Brady, Chris Brady's right there with him now. Back. 
Jack is your winner. Okay, light goes green and here we go. First battle of the grade eight. It is James Dean to lead. Benedict is sure of chase. James Dean thrown in. Huge aggression, but look at Charlie Thomas right there with him. Both guys absolutely to the side of James Dean's S14.9 as they transition for the first time. Feeling that was on one. What a dive from Jerba! He's right there with the machine. This is exactly what we were expecting from both these veterans European driving. We see now James Dean do what he can to try and shake off Jerba. Jerba is stuck with him there right over the finish line. Traffic light is set, it goes green, and away they go. Benedict is charm and lead. James Dean to chase. Look at this, as we see Poker throwing it in. The drone follow him around live. This is an absolute epic angle. Look at Benedict's charm, he's on a brilliant lead line, but James Dean right there with him as he transitions through charm of smoke. As they come into now, our zone two, charm is right there with James. Flicking back on the wall, what a dive from James Dean, only not made contact as Charlie goes and smoke it wide over the finish line. I don't know what happened, I got that confused halfway through and I mixed the cars up. And your winner is James Dean.
Light goes green and away they go. Nick back to chase. Nick back to the backwards. He can change position. Contact put the steer. Contact again. Look at that. Nick back in. Touch it. But she already six. As they come to the first time. Huge time from Nick back. How did he pull that off? Right up on the door. You are in. You are in. The foot on the track. Watch what's happening there. That was absolutely insane. The crowd here at the Absolutely mangled that GT86. Came back out and hit James Dean. James taking a bit of damage as well, as we see. Watering glass everywhere, everywhere on the ground. Water fires going away. Damage to Speed's car. He gets out and he runs straight over James. Are you okay? Is what James says. Ali said, Yeah, I'm fine. Look, that is not what either guy wants. They're pushing so hard, hands on the head. I think they're just taking a minute to come around to see what's happening. I'm so happy to see both them guys out of that car. Look at James's reaction to Ali's car. That's not like, oh, that's not what we want to see. That is, that is just, I'm just happy to see that guy is walking away from that impact. Looking at James, he's walking away from it as well. I know there's going to be armies, and I mean armies of people in there ready to help James and help Ali to see if they can get their cars back out. It is your radio, which is your whole cooling system. Look at James. The judges deem James Dean as the winner, which will put him in the final.
for James's car is, is just pandemonium down there. But the question is, is how long do they have before we need that car to come to the line? There's some drive shaft coming out. This is not what we want to see. It's just the harsh reality of motorsport. But unfortunately, there is rules in place for situations like this. James was able to call his five-minute rule, giving him the ten minutes. But yeah, look, we see him talking to his girlfriend Becky there for the vlog. So I can tell you now, everyone, join into James's vlog next week because it's going to be exciting. But. Ladies and gentlemen, I think our podium is nearly confirmed without us even doing that. And the high five, Turbo, and all his guys, Clint and all his guys, they're counting them down outside. And unfortunately, that countdown is not a happy new year. The clock strikes 10 minutes, and James the Machine Dean does not make it to the line. So that will be Ahmed Jahan leaves the line for the final alone. National category, the first, or the third. The third, Nabda, the Sahab al Markaz, the third. Local championship, third place, Haytham al Hadidi. Haytham al Hadidi, he changed the title to the third place, and in the Markaz, the second, immediately in second place, Ali al Shahani. Allah. الو تعال علي تعال <تصفيق> والبازوكا موجوده هنا قدامنا علي شهاني في المركز الثاني على البطوله المحليه الفئه المحليه علي شهاني في المركز الثاني و نعلن صاحب المركز الاول في صاحب <تصفيق> المركز الاول ذا فيرست بليس صاحب المركز الاول احمد العامري عامري في المركز الاول على الفئه المحليه في بطوله عمان الدوليه للجراف الجوله الثانيه يستاهل احمد على السياره اللي نشوف الحين يستاهل يستاهل حتى الرمق الاخير احمد العامري استمر بالرغم من كل ما واجه حقيقه في سباقات اليوم ألف مبروك أحمد ألف مبروك علي وألف مبروك هيثم طبعا المراكز الأول والثاني والثالث على التصنيف المحلي مبارك للأبطال الحمد لله على سلامة الجميع أبدع الأبطال أوكي نرجع العين إلى المينا Let's go to Mina category on third place third place المركز الثالث عندنا من؟ أحمد العامري خليك خليك يا عمري على السيج أحمد العامري في المركز الثالث على فئة الشرق الأوسط وشمال إفريقيا مينا كاتيجري مبارك لأحمد العامري المركز الثاني second place ladies and gentlemen big round of applause to the one and only علي مقصيد علي مقصيد اليوم كان له دور ايضا بمراكز الابطال على إيه علي مقصيد إيه حدد كل المراكز علي مقصيد حدد كل المراكز بالحادث اللي سواه يلا الحمد لله على السلامه الحمد لله على السلامه علي مقصيد هارد لك كنت تنافس بشراسه ولكن هذه هي الرياضه مبروك المركز الثاني على فئه المينا علي مقصيد وايضا على ذات الفئه في المركز الاول, الأول المركز الاول على فئه الشرق الاوسط الشمالي المركز الاول المركز الاول احمد حام في الجوله الثانيه من بطوله عمان الدوليه للانجراف 
في المركز الثالث على فئة الشرق الأوسط أحمد العامري في المركز الثاني علي مقصيد وفي المركز الأول أحمد دحام مبارك للأبطال والحمد لله على سلامة الجميع Did we, do we have did we have fun guys or no? Did we have fun with the races with, with the battles or no? It was amazing. It was amazing. جمهور جمهور رائع حقيقة اليوم جمهور أضاف حماس لهذه البطولة مبروك للأبطال ونبدأ الآن بتتويج الفئة الدولية the international category in the third place. Yalla Nick Nack, well done. Second place, ladies and gentlemen, James Dean! The jump! Oh, oh, okay. صاحب عدم تصوير سوري متحمسين يا أخي. والله سوري. سوري 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 سوري. Again, again for James Dean. Second place, ladies and gentlemen, James Dean! And المركز الأول. First place goes to. المركز الأول. على الفئة الدولية. أبا أبا أسمع أبا أسمع أبا أسمع. يلا 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 ما صار جمهور جمهور جمهور. First place goes to أحمد عام. الله الله. أحمد عام. مبروك للأبطال أحمد دحام في المركز الأول بيدبكوا على طول دبك لازم دحية مرة إذن ألف مبروك ثيرد بليس تكناك سكند بليس جيمس دين and the first place أحمد دحام and let's give a big round of applause to the one to the fourth place actually guys let's not forget the fourth place علي مقصيد علي مقصيد حل رابعا وأعاد ترتيب المراكز <تصفيق> علي مقصيد ختمها على طول رتب كل شيء في قبل موعده ما شاء الله عليك وين علي وين علي علي يعطيك العافية يا علي مبروك للأبطال أبطال الفئة الدولية نسمع لهم تحية Let's give a big round of applause to all the three winners ladies and gentlemen Give them a big round of applause سمعوا لهم تحية Nick Nack, James Dean and in the first place أحمد دحام مبروك للأبطال شكرا لكل الجهود المبذولة في إنجاح هذا الحدث الجولة الثانية من بطولة عمان الدولية للانجراف موعدنا يتجدد الأسبوع القادم الخميس القادم في الجولة الثالثة من هذه البطولة والتي يتجدد بها التحدي وتتجدد بها المنافسة طبعا شكرا كبير لراعي الحفل اليوم الشيخ بدر بن محمد النادابي الرئيس التنفيذي لشركة مواصلات وأيضا العميد محمد بن ناصر الكندي مدير عام العمليات بشرطة عمان السلطانية عضو مجلس إدارة الجمعية العمانية للسيارات شكرا للجميع thanks everyone for attending and being part شكرا سالم أبدعت سالم أنت أبدعت أنا صوتي راح خلاص ما في صوت يلا نراكم الأسبوع القادم إلى اللقاء شوفكم على خير إن شاء الله ليلة سعيدة بإذن الله good night